Now remember we have that sample where the guy goes, you see, Harold thinks it's so. Right. Harold has his tongue plate, pierced, apaches. <laughs> you see, Harold thinks it's so. Harold had his tongue clipped, apaches. 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 Now I'm going to use my voice to say, you see, Ja thinks it's so too, man. Something like that. <laughs> okay. And then that bit comes in. So I'm going to put my vocal in my effects. Uh, out audio track. My vocal is mono. So let's put mono channel there. Put it by our speech. I'll call it speech two. Uh, I'm gonna get a good sample out of my voice if I can. I, I yeah, got out of like ten samples. Ja, thinks it's so too, man. Now I'm gonna be talking about this later on on the mixing. But right now I'm gonna use it, and it's a stereo separation technique. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this track. I gotta duplicate it. One of them, I'm gonna hard pan it to the left, and the other one to the right. Just put an R, saying that it's right. And I'll sing that is left. Stereo group channel track. I hate that in Cubase. Oh my god. Where is my recorded track doing the Okay, that's easier that way then. Speech. So I'll send this to speech to Don't really need to do a group channel here. I like to f keep things tidy, so... Ja, so, I just duplicated one, and on one of them, I'm gonna add a delay. 25 milliseconds of delay on one, and this is what happens. Ja, thinks it so too, man! Lovely stereo spread in there. Just to get started. Now, now let's see why it comes handy to do this, to create a group channel. Because now I don't, if I want an effect on this speech, I don't have to go and do it on both channels. I'll just do it on the group channel. So I want a little reverb on this. And ja, thinks it so too, man. I got a reverb channel here, so. Ja, thinks it so too, man. I like that. Ja, thinks it so too, man. I'm happy with that. And I'll insert a delay as well. Could be a stereo delay. That I will probably automate later on. We'll have to make that later on, but for now I just leave it like it is. Now my bass, I want my bass <coughs> to stop right there. Let's so, 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 so. Thing is, I don't want to go. Tum. 
I want it to go down to A. Now, there is an issue with this using Alien and some other plugins where you can't pitch, uh, use the pitch. Um, if I were using a, a machine that I could use the pitch, I would come here to Pitch Bend. Let me just. This is what I want, but I want it to pitch down to A. Just like a bass, give it that bass feel. I would go like something like that. But you notice it didn't change anything because Alien doesn't support that feature. It doesn't have a uh, this pitch. It's not controllable to to it. I could go and change its um, oscillator. But if I go into it, where is the oscillator? It's here. I could go fine. Let me see. Not much, not much difference is there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this to audio and I'm going to pitch shift this part. I'm going to pitch shift this note enough semitones to go down to A. And, it and that's going to give it that feel like somebody's playing a real bass. Uh, line there. I've just highlighted the note that I want it that I want to pitch shift. So it's G, and I want it to go from G to A. So I gotta see how many semitones I got in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 semitones. So I wanna go 10 semitones down. Actually, I would go. So I'll cut that bit. I'm gonna go process, pitch shift. And I wanna go from zero semitones a range of 10 semitones I've done this prior 10 semitones there you go from there zero to 10 semitones down I'm gonna put it on solo musical because it's a music instrument and it's in mono if it would be if it was um, let's say a guitar I would go poly musical or complex and uh, let's preview that's it that's what I'm looking for let's process there you go ma, 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 ma. happy with that now so remember I had the delay on this sample but these wouldn't be really the delay that I want. I want something a bit more creative, like um, dub delay. So I'm gonna go dub master from G Sonic, which is a good, very good delay. Uh, I'm gonna run to some presets. A bit too much. <laughs> bubbles Jamaica. Mm. Ah. 